Hey, I got to ask you. You know, you were working on early Gilly's car one time, and it was making three sounds. Can you remember what chugga, they were? Chugga, chugga, pa-ding, pa-ding, and... <laughs> chop wheat, chop wheat. Chow wheat, chow wheat. <laughs> <laughs> I would call him every time I'd do a radio show, just about. Maybe not every time, but a lot of times I'd go in and do morning shows when we were out promoting records. And it'd be early. It'd be like 6 o'clock, 5.30 or something, and I'd call George at home and, and wake him up. And I'd say, George, don't cuss. This is T. Graham. You're on, you're on the radio, live on the radio. What you doing? Oh, I was just laying around out in the yard sleeping. <laughs> He was always, you know, he'd come out of a dead sleep and come up with something really funny. <laughs> it's great to see you, George. I hadn't seen you in a couple of years. <laughs> it's wonderful. And I did the, uh, George and I did the, <laughs> you were gone together one time. I, I, I wish I could you, think of something funny now. <laughs> That's funny. Oh. That's funny, baby. <laughs> Toughest crowd in the world, and he killed them every night. I mean, every night. Hey, George, is it true that you went down to Hee Haw? You just go down there and kind of hang around, and next thing you knew, you were on the show because you were you were still doing Andy Griffith, I guess. I was looking for work. <laughs> well, what, what happened? You found it, evidently. Oh, uh, at the curb market, at the curb hop, they took my tray away, and uh, I didn't have any work, and uh, I was hungry. So did you audition? What did you do? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever they said that I did. I, I uh, 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 Seven is the answer. <laughs> I think I forgot the question. <laughs> you know, you can sit around. If you know the jokes, all you have to do is say the number. Six. <laughs> Twelve didn't get a laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Are you still out on the road? Oh, just a little here and there. I found that when the economy got bad, uh, there's one thing people can do without, and that's banjo picking. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, that's right now. <laughs> it's a good thing. <laughs> it's hard to be a humorless comic. Yes. <laughs> I've always been attracted to things that could do me no good. <laughs> the banjo was one of them. <laughs> well, I never could pick, but I sure came around. Yeah. I don't think good. It's going to give me a new face and <laughs> a new career. <laughs>